Today's video, we're breaking down some Mutt gameplay in Madden NFL 16. What's up, guys? My name's Cody. I like to make Madden 16 videos, post them on the internet. Today, we're bringing you a gameplay uh, breakdown here. I am using my standard defense, uh, the New England Patriots defensive guide. You can check that below in the description. A lot of wide trail to open up the game from this clown, uh, so we'll see what he does. Uh, ch -ch -ch, but we're going into it here. And we got trips left. A little quick pitch, and I wasn't ready. I didn't have my play set up, so unfortunate. I got to start learning how to do those uh, adjustments off the edge here. Let's see what he does. Probably run another one. Nope. Yep, there. Oh, mm, sloppy defense by me. Gave up a touchdown on Smash. Yeah, ugly defense by me. I don't know. I didn't pass him in. I think he went play action. Maybe. I don't know if he did or not, but I didn't pass him in. I was clicking. I've had an issue with connection a lot lately. And I don't really know what the deal is. But it's like, see, like now I can hot route like a wizard. But, like, before I couldn't. I don't know. It's, re it's intriguing. Pretty pumped for tonight's Monday night game. Um, so we'll see, see what we can do, um, ch -ch -ch -ch. we gotta score though, we gotta come out and score, the defense did not look good, I bragged about it, see, I've been doing a really good job returning kicks, but when they lag, it's like I can't return them anymore, hop it into the gun, we are in Indianapolis, yes, we are in Indianapolis, I really like this, uh, offense here from Indy, uh, we're rocking the shovel option. This is a scheme. S. Gibbs from MaddenTips.com brought to the table a couple weeks ago on TWIM. Really enjoy this. It's easy reads. I've added a couple things to it. I think it makes it a little better. Um, a little more better of a full offense. We're rocking Latavius Murray. He's a 75 overall running back. I've been utilizing, uh, I, and I go back and forth like between Jarrett McKinnon, Latavius Murray, Dre Archer, all of those guys, those are kind of my 15 running backs that I just like, kind of like to go through. Um, I just can't decide because, like, Archer is really, really good, but he's, you know, can he really get that one yard when you need him to? Murray, as you see here, is a trucking monster, um, and he's just a bigger, bigger back, um, just physically a bigger back. And for me, I can't really decide because, like, Archer, here, we'll, we'll show you Archer this game because... I've been kind of wanting to. I haven't really given him a fair shake in the system, so we'll see how. So we'll see how he does today. Anyway, with the pitch, there's Archer get to the edge, and Dre Archer for some reason I think it's his elusive rating, but he just breaks a lot of tackles, a lot of big runs from him, and um, that's probably why I, you know, probably overall, um, he's probably my guy long term. But anyway. Hop in. When they bring this press coverage down, what I like to do is go to the play stick here. My first read is a quick pass. And if that's not open, I like to hit this drag to Keenan Allen. Like it. Kind of a late developing route. Um, another thing that we like to do from the play stick is normally that means there's a one on one over the top. And so what we'll do is let Antonio Brown go make a play on the ball and there they got us that was a, probably a bad read because we didn't we didn't really read it we just wanted to show off I think he's running he's rocking it seems like a cover two invert style defense really heavy run defense here so we'll see what we can do it's a nice edge defense we'll try and run this uh, little inside zone we got the edge Archer makes a tackle what a run by Archer. I mean, see, that's what I'm saying. It's like Archer just gets plays like that. It's like whatever reason, Archer just gives you positive yards. Even when, like, the linebackers are raping him, you know, like, and bringing him, they're, like, fronting him and everything, and he just, for whatever reason, just powers through it. It's like Archer just solid. But, um, yeah, I really like those two uh, for this. And like I said, you're going to see probably a lot of cover, too. When they do stuff like this, what I like to do is, is run this PA read play. Uh, this PA read play will do pretty good against it. But the reads, 
We can hit Archer out of the backfield and look at Archer. Nice run. Should probably could have just ran straight ahead. We're in stick here. When they when they go with this kind of like press look, I really like stick. Goes two man under, and I read that perfectly because he had his corners came up. When the corners come up and press, I like to go to PA Reed. It's a good play to beat man. Um, when they're off coverage and I want to throw, I'll typically go with the play stick. Make a couple hot ruts to it. Here he's giving us a nice look for the run. That was a really, really, really bad decision. From by me there, I was not. I, I did not want to pitch that to him. I wanted to pitch to Archer, and I just hit the wrong button and got bailed out. We got to go in and score here. Griffin powering his way. Third and one. See, and this is where I kind of debate. Like, can Archer really do this? And it's like I've never had an issue with him, but it's like I just don't like the mentality of a five-foot running back running into these linemen. But look at him, just power. Power is way for a yard. Oh, he didn't get it. It's fourth and inches. Oh, crap. I was bragging about him. He didn't get it. Um, in situations like this, when it's like this, uh, what I like to do is come out in this uh, I-form tackle over. And uh, put Archer in the backfield, and I got LeGarrette Blunt, that really good trucking back I was talking about. Uh, really good trucking back. I got him in the middle, and then I just power with Blunt, but they think the most of the time people will think that the other is coming, and there you see the fullback dive finish off a nice drive for us. Uh, again, I like to play on the basic of basis of possessions. Uh, what that means is um, I like to... Uh, come out and try to go for two on the first drive. Here he's giving us a nice look for the pitch to the right side, so we're going to go ahead and run it. Oh, man, what a play. Should have came out in that stupid dive. Dang it, I should have ran the fullback dive. See, you always run the fullback dive first, and then later in the game you run the pitch. Um, so that's kind of a dumb play by me. I just thought after he had just seen the fullback dive, he would be expecting it again. I don't know. Good play by him. But we're still within a possession. And if he scores a touchdown, we'll, only, we'll still only be down one possession. If he's smart, he'll go for two. But most people don't do that. So he ran wide trail a lot last time. Let's see if he does the same. Yep, he's doing the same thing. Go Barit, make a play. Look at Jason Barit, man. So he got the first user catch like that, and he did one thing. So he ran a similar, he ran the same exact play last drive, and he caught it. Um, and this time he got caught. Uh, this time, Barit made the play, and I like Jason Barit. I think he's a really good corner. He 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 just catches the ball, you know. He just makes plays. I just feel like that's all I want. It's guys that can catch, and have decent height, or or decent coverage either or. We can power. We'll see how Archer does. And see, that's kind of what I'm saying. Like, when he runs that inside zone, he's not going to be able to push forward like that. They're normally going to push him back. Now, sometimes he will. Sometimes he'll break a tackle and we'll be solid. But most of the time. And see, this is where he's going to be money. When we get him in the open field. Nice play by the defense. Third and four. Need a big play here. Again, a good look for the option, actually. Go ahead and run it. Cut it up with Griffin. And sometimes it's important, like, because, like, sometimes the computer will make a read. Like, the computer will make a option, and they'll do something. But the, uh, the user player of the other team will uh, do something else. So it's always important to keep that. I like this little curl flat concept. Basically, when we're running stick, I take the slant and I turn it into a curl route. does a really nice job because if they go with the flat pattern, which is so effective, then I can now go to Archer, or excuse me, Floyd on the curl route, and it works really, really well. Threw that off my back foot, but Keenan Allen's catching traffic comes in through 
comes through for me. Stafford doesn't have, or um, Griffin doesn't have the best throwing talents, so, but he's really good for running. He's like at 90 speed. Uh, if I want to throw, I could put Stafford in. If I want to, you know, really just only throw about this, but I like to do a little, you know, I like to do both, And I, but I am heavy emphasis on running the ball. But sometimes you're in a two-minute situation. See here. See how he doesn't account for that little flat pass of Archer? Then I can easily take that. And, and it's just a quick hit. It's a quick hit of five or six. But it's something that really, through the course of the game, they're going to have to watch out for. And if they, they, you know, if they have to guard against that and the run, and it just makes a lot to guard against. There's Archer, and I think he's getting a little tired, so we're going to have to go play action and try to hit Floyd. We're going to try and hit Floyd up top. Floyd deep. Make big plays, son. He's like 6'5", man. I mean, one-on-one -on -one over the top, I'll take that every day. Just at least a shot, you know. And uh, cover three press doesn't do it for him. We get in the end zone for six. So pretty solid, pretty solid two-minute drill. Um, this situation, we come out, we try to get the fullback dive cranking up again, uh, see what he wants to do as far as stopping the pitches. So just simple power, and I think we got stopped. So that's okay. It's okay. No, no, no issue with getting stopped. I'm just in the issue of learning. You know, I mean, if we go through this, like seeing. This chess match of fullback dive versus fullback fake, and what you'll see is later on in the game, you know, in a, in a clutch third and one situation, he's going to think he can stop that fullback dive, and we're going to spring that fullback dive fa fake halfback flip to him, and uh, it'll be an interesting interesting to see how he handles that. Uh, with Romo's lack of mobility, we can really dial up the pressure. So we're going to go overload three sky press. This is a blitz off the left edge that we send. Looks like he is going PA in around. We forgot to freaking pass commit. Deck on it. We got to pass commit. Yep, PA in around. There, now we're pass committed. If we see, I want to try and trap him. There we are. And that was a really, really risky play by me. But in my opinion, it, it was uh, like we're in a situation where we can be risky. He went wide trail. He's been running wide trail a lot. I know that the wide trail is going to bring that slant pattern over the middle as a kind of a delayed read. And what, he, but he's, what he's really looking to do is go up top in a one-on-one -on -one scenario. If the safety goes deep to that vertical, then he's going to go underneath. Well, in that situation, I started deep, and then I came back underneath and was able to lurk the slant. So I feel like that was a pretty, pretty risky play. But I feel like because of the situation we were in, it really wasn't that risky because if he would have uh, went over the, if he would have completed that underneath route, um, you know, he still would have had to drive down the field anyway. So, and there's Keenan Allen over the middle, just working. We'll talk. We'll take a to there. Go back and talk a little chalk talk and. Third down and two. We got Griffin. We got all of our favorites back on the field. Archer makes an appearance on this drive. Really like this look to run Archer. It's kind of jamming everybody in the middle. And there's Archer making a big run. Um, in this situation, we got 12 seconds. Uh, in this situation, what I like to do is run the uh, PA read with the... Uh, with the look to um, Floyd. Well, he doesn't look like he's going to give it to us. We're going to go check out of that. We'll go shovel option. He's now shifting a little bit. So we'll take check down here and we'll go inside zone. Try to get out of bounds, maybe. Nice run by Archer. We got about six seconds. We're going to let the clock go down to three and take a timeout to get a field goal. Uh, what the field goal is going to allow us to do is go up by two possessions. Um, actually, well, we still will only be up by one, but he's going to have to, you know, get a two-pointer, which isn't very likely um, for him to do early in the game, so we'll just take that. Um, you know, we still technically are only up by one possession, but, you know, really we're up by two, plus we get the ball at half, so 
So that's kind of some of the mindset there. But a really big turnover, in my opinion. Really good play by the defense to kind of come back after a first drive of really getting knocked out in the mouth. Uh, we really adjusted well in the second uh, in the second quarter uh, and made two crucial stops, and the offense has really executed off that as well. So let's we'll see what we can do on the kick return here to open the half. I got this guy Dorsett returning kicks. He's not the best guy to do it, but he's cheap. Um, there, You see, and I feel like I can give out some kick return tips, and I keep saying that in these videos. I mean, my kick return skills are decent, um, as you see here, another, another run back, and we get one in for six. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. If you guys want my want my little strategy on how to return kicks, just let me know, uh, and I'll give it to you. It's it's not too complicated. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I mean it. I mean, definitely takes some skill. But I mean, if you're able to, you, if you're good on the sticks, you can really. I mean, it's pretty pretty easy. Blunt power. Gosh, dang it, man. I wonder if they've toned down the fullback dive a little bit. Because it used to be, like, money. Who do they have? I don't even know. <laughs> I just play. I'm just, a, I'm just a spirit that plays. I got this dude kicker, McManus. He's, like, a pretty... He's, like, got the best kick power out of anybody. He's pretty solid. Um, like I said, we're staying with everybody else, too. Uh, so 3 5 odd is what we're rocking defensively. Like I said, you can get this defense in the guide, or the whole guide, the whole defense, the whole playbook breakdown. We actually go into more detail and break every play down and show you how to set them up and all. But, um, oh, crap. We're going to get rocked on this play. Yep, there's your quick pitch. And I knew it was coming. I just couldn't adjust. Like, it's freezing up. I don't understand. The stupid connection really ticks me off. I don't know if it's a if it's a school thing, like if the connection at school is just kind of bad, or what. Did we ever get Joe? Yeah, we did. Okay. But with it starting to have some connection issues, I'm gonna check out and go into the cover three buzz. There's smash. Oh, a little slip screen. That's interesting. Little play call. Nice little. That's pretty cute. Let's see what it does off that. There's a sack. We didn't get to set anything up. That was a pure coverage sack. Why is it doing this? This is so stupid. Stupid adjustment crap. I don't know what we're even running. There's a, there's a sack. Another good play by the D. I think that's two on this drive. We got play action blocking, so you got to watch out for that. I don't know why it's making me do this. This is not what I want to do. Oh my gosh. There's another sack for the D. That's three in a row. And you see how good this defense is when you take away their first read. Um. Oh, I got clicked off. He's going to be able to throw a deep bomb. Come on, Hayward. Nice play, Hayward. He'll probably quit out. Wouldn't you think? I mean, was that Vincent Jackson? Yeah. Well, that's all we got for you guys tonight. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Uh, like I said, you know, the defense is pretty solid. Um, pretty solid D. In my opinion, as you can see there, once we got a couple takeaway, I think we got one fumble, and we got three stops out of four. So pretty solid game for the defense. Um, pretty good pretty good game so far. So loving this defense. If you guys want to check it out, you can get it below. We also have an offense. You can get that as well. Uh, I don't talk as much about it anymore. I've been running this Indianapolis stuff too lately. So, But anyways, that is the defense and offense Madden Awful Team gameplay this week. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed it. I uh, really enjoy bringing you these videos, and I hope you enjoy watching them. Uh, so thank you so much for your time. It really means the world to me that you guys are able to 